Well, they're three feet tall, fuzzy, funny. Can you guess what I'm talking about here? Uh -huh. And they're moving into the National Museum of American History. Well, I only guess because I read ahead. <laughs> uh, the Smithsonian Institution adopted 20 of Jim Henson's puppets and props today, all donated by his daughter at his foundation. Mike Kaneen takes us down memory lane and reintroduces us to some of childhood's favorites who now have a new home right here in our region. With the stroke of a pen, now they belong to the nation. <laughs> Jim Henson's most popular characters from The Muppet Show, Fraggle Rock, and Sesame Street were adopted by the Smithsonian Institution. You can hear their voices. You can hear them in your head. They're like living beings. Until now, Cheryl Henson says many of her father's creations have been sitting for decades in cardboard boxes. She hopes donating them will carry his legacy even further. He loved to laugh and he wanted to help other people to be, to have that, that sense of joy. A few of Henson's longtime colleagues and collaborators were on hand for the donation. You were fine. I very often find myself with my husband just kidding around going, no, it's fine. Fran Brill puppeteered Prairie Dawn on Sesame Street. You watch the show, your children watch the show, your grandchildren watch the show, and these characters become very real family members. In November, many of these Muppets will go on a temporary display on puppeteering. Then in March of 2014, Miss Piggy in all her glory will be reunited with Kermie in the exhibit American Stories. And isn't that wonderful? I think, I, I wonder if he knows she's coming. <laughs> Bonnie Erickson helped build and design several Muppets, including Miss Piggy, whom she calls a trailblazer. She's always been ahead of fashion. <laughs> In fact, the Smithsonian released photos of Miss Piggy exploring her new home, even wearing the actual Hope Diamond. Now that she's back together with her favorite frog, the museum is bracing for big crowds. I can already see the noses pressed against the plexiglass. On the National Mall, Mike Kinnean, ABC7 News.